Sherman Burgess, one of Australia's leading anti-Muslim activists, caused a stir in his community when he decided to convert to Islam. He has been a national figure since 2010 due to his involvement with the now defunct right-wing nationalist group United Patriots Front, UPF, Reclaim Australia and the Australian Defence League. Burgess is best known for his role in the 2015 anti-Muslim protests over the building of a mosque in Bendigo. In that capacity, he helped organize dozens of demonstrations featuring neo-Nazi figures Blair Cottrell and Neil Erickson. On his social media page, the great Aussie patriot, he shared racist and inflammatory content with tens of thousands of followers at its peak. Half a decade later, Burgess's personal Facebook account is now adorned with a cover photo of a Palestinian flag superimposed with the phrase, faith, and messages praising an Islamic prayer mural in the Jindabyne area. Burgess confirmed on Friday, the 3rd of March 2023, to independent Australian media outlet Crikey that he and other former anti-Muslim activists recited the Shahada and were welcomed by the local mosque. The Muslim community is very good and wonderful. If you need help they are there, he said. Burgess said he reversed his beliefs, saying, Multiculturalism has failed. Islam is incompatible with our way of life after seeing the strength of Australia's independence movement. Multicultural activism fueled by vaccines, governments and conspiracies born of the COVID-19 pandemic. His protests attracted a variety of ethnic, cultural and religious communities united by their opposition to health measures brought about by the pandemic. Burgess's meeting with the leader of the Islamic Liberation Movement, Yusra Rose, gave him a clearer picture of Islam. On his Facebook page, Burgess said in December last year, Let's go back to 2015-2016. You won't see me standing side by side with a Muslim fighting for the same goal. Not in a million years, but now, things have changed. Now I stand side by side with Muslims against the oppressive Zionists and Freemasons who rule us. Burgess said he was attacked online by former UPF members when they learned of his conversion. A lot of them drink a lot, he said. I like the healthy aspect of Islam, how he practices hard and stays away from alcohol and drugs. Andrew Tate, the self-proclaimed misogynist who is at the center of allegations of sex trafficking in Romania is the biggest convert in recent memory. Tate, who describes herself as a conservative, opposes the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and queer LGBTQ community, 
and promotes outdated notions of gender as belonging to women. During her conversion from Christianity to Islam, Tate made numerous references to Sharia law, including a statement in which she confessed to collecting bricks to stone her partner when he was having an affair. Tate told journalist Piers Morgan that he believed Islam was the last true religion on earth, and later declared it a medicine against decay. When you see all the rubbish going around in America today about transgender Christian pastors and Christian pastors with gay flags in churches and all this craziness, I think Christianity has gone astray, Tate said.